what we have here is a little exercise that we've asked all the field day participants to, to go through. And what we have is, is, is five different sets of plots. They're four rows each, 100 feet long. These are on 36 or 30 inch rows rather, and we plant them at 43,560 seed per acre. So that's roughly two and a half seed per foot. So in a, a perfect stand would be uh, uh, five plants in a two foot section of row. So we tell them that to help calibrate their eyes, so to speak. But we wanna go through these plots and ask all the participants to give us their assessment for uh, percent stand loss and percent of planted area occupied by three foot skips. And then lastly, we ask them whether or not they would replant these four rows. So we're just gonna go through them real quickly right now. These first set of four rows, this is one that's highly contested amongst participants most of the time. This is actually a 50% stand loss. And that's really eye-opening for a lot of folks. And this is educational in one aspect because it teaches us that we can tolerate quite a significant loss in terms of stand without having very many three foot skips that would necessitate replanting. So with a, a, only a 50% stand, we still only have 9% of the planted area occupied by three foot skips, which is below our threshold for replanting. All right, so let's move on to the next one. All right, this next four rows actually looks pretty good. This is a less than 5% stand loss. So this is almost a perfect stand. We never achieve a 100% stand. And it's 1% of the planted area occupied by three foot skip. So we're well below the threshold. And what this tells us is obviously we don't have to waste any time uh, when evaluating stands in cotton. If it looks halfway good like this, uh, we're well below the threshold for replanting. We don't need to spend a lot of time assessing that. So moving on to the next plot. All right, this one tends to be one of the most highly debated in terms of whether or not we would replant this. Now, the assessments vary very widely uh, across uh, a lot of our producers that were here at this field day, but this is actually a 75% stand loss, 45% three foot skips or greater. And yes, that's above the threshold, so we're absolutely gonna replant this. But most people have to really study this particular plot. And what we've noticed is that if we really have to take our time and assess a stand like this and debate it, then that's where we need to focus our attention in terms of making accurate and precise replanting decisions. So moving on, in this next plot, we only have a 25% stand loss, which is still a significant stand loss, but very few three foot skips. We're only 2% three foot skips in this one. So obviously we don't have to replant this one. We have a good stand here. And this, like the first plot, teaches us that we can tolerate a pretty substantial stand loss without having uh, major three foot skips that would necessitate replanting. And then the last one that we have are these four rows here. Most all the participants said that they would replant this and that is a correct assessment. This is a 90% stand loss and it's 77% of the planted area is occupied by three foot skips, which is well above our threshold. So back to our previous comment, when you see something that looks this poor, we don't need to waste any time debating that either. That should be a clear, yes, we need to replant uh, that, that particular stand. 